Katzang getting softened up. There goes Grixer as well. And all of a sudden it's Kanzen, but a beautiful double play. Trying to ride out the final four seconds. He has no idea where that diffuser is. SMG up. They're watching in this position. As he goes to swing out, there's both Coded and Katzang watching from this angle. Kanzen, are you a miracle worker? You only need one more. Katzen. And there it is. One of the best plays that we've seen at this tournament. This is a Nitro Cell waiting to happen, and it looks like Ryze might actually be able to do that. Diffuser goes down, but it's a bad post plant for MIBR. It's Bullet in a 1v4 now, so the objective works, but it looks like it might end up being a Pyrrhic victory. Bullet's in a really rough spot. An ace clutch with Diffuser down, and you know that Team 1 is going to play this appropriately. Then we'll tie things up, and it's anybody's game. He has no air jabs left. He has one stun grenade. He gives his position away as he can't challenge the mirror and he's gonna get picked from behind unless he finds salvation over by the reinforcement. The mirror will watch his walkout, going for the flash. There's the mirror, gun down, but Lucid's defusing, running in, he can't stop oh. it. Oh, is Bullet gonna get it? No, so close. And does he have time? Can, does he have time or will it be the clock? Striking zero right down to the wire. Am I beyond? Oh. Já desceu, será que vai conseguir eliminação? Consegue belo trabalho, eliminação em cima do jogador, quase tenta uma double kill. Olha o Nesk, double kill pra ele. Vai partir TC, triple kill, 4K do Nesk. Impressionante. O que que tá acontecendo, Retalha? Revolt sozinho, será que ele consegue levar? Mais uma situação complicada pra ele. Tem um pixel melhor, o Nesk! Consegue um clutch espetacular. O um clutch que pode garantir. Now is he going to be able to go for a clutch as well for an ace clutch? Even he gets two to start it off. That's a potential third, but Dan survives just barely. It's the third one to come through. He spots one more. Is he going to be able to get that one? He swings around the corner. He gets a little bit of No way, he gets a quad kill. That is the second clutch in a row. What are we seeing? There's the first one from Penku starting off what happened in the last round, but two kills come flying through. Virtue has got to do it all by himself here if he wants to keep this one going. He finds one picking off Renshira from above, but he has got work to do. Can he see the one for the plan? He sees the feet. He sprays, he puts no it down! Way. He just won that! Virtue downing him at the last second wins it out! Unbelievable! Zig's gonna be above, Diffuser's gonna be in the hands of Wag. Nesk holding from below, looking for the shots as to the first person gonna move in forward, which is gonna be Wag. He's gonna try to go for the plant. C4 tossed on over, and that will oh. down him. With 10 seconds left to go, BZD picks off Nesk. Zig's gonna grab the frag there on a Psycho. He's the last man standing in a one on four. Who is gonna try to challenge this? And he goes down as well. Zig gonna come on over, go for a shot. He's gonna get that one as well. No more time, and the defender's gonna win this one. Between three operators in a hard place, and KS will find yet another kill. KS coming up massive right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's all up, left up to Sexy Cake with 50 seconds left on the clock. He does have the diffuser though, as he will get droned out. They know exactly where he is. He does have a Toxic Babe on the one door as he will pop that. Bakery Cam in tow to help him with some information. Shotgun as well. Stun Grenade going to full stun him, but no one's going to push. He will find KS though. Will he be able to find Corey inside of the bathroom? He pops a shot, rotates, toss another Toxic Babe as this is going to come down to bare knuckle brawling between these two teams, ladies and gentlemen. Liquid with Sexy Cake against three as they will pick up KS. Will he win the fight against Corey? He will. Two to find. He's going to find one, and he's going to find two! Liquid to the main stage! He take their own sight from behind his Hyper, but he's the only defender left. He'll find one. Goes for the shot through the wall. Plant going down all the way in the other sight. Expecting someone to flank him, not gonna happen. One covering the cross. That appears to be the Ash covering the cross. Oh, what a clean shot from Hyper. Oh, if he spots this Ash. Oh, Hyper, you're nuts. He's only gonna find one more, but he might not know where Slash is. Purifiers come out, it'll prompt Slash to move up close, and Hyper wins it. How does he do it? He's got so little HP, but he's got plenty of time and no one to stop him. He need but find the Diffuser. Absolutely clean from Hyper. It is a three on five post mate. Sinister still well and truly in this round. Milo gets one. Doesn't see the no fire way. on the floor. Does finally down him though. And now it's left up to Jerry to try and hold the bomb from above. Two thirds left in that diffuser. He has a really nice angle inside of engine. Sinister are going to basically be forced to go above. He gets the first. The call out should oh! there. He gets the second onto Vinny. No and way! The third onto Nico. It's now a one or two. The diffuser is still there in position. Luna's going to get her head taken off as well. Oh! That's the quad kill. But the trade comes out there from Fisher. Will he have time though to get towards the diffuser? It's going to be super, super tight. He might just get it. It's going to be really close. He gets on it. 
Seven second counter defuse, of course. It's going to be really tight. That counter is going down. He might get it in. No time. way! No way! <laughs> the clutch! That's a one versus five. He gets denied. It's a sea of blue yet again. Tempo getting all the kills. Four just in the last few seconds. Laxing at least gets one trade for himself. Let's make it two as he takes out Jarvis. But he's got a lot more work to do. Still three more players alive. He's already onto his pistol. He's going to swing it too. He gets another one. Let's make it four. Laxing, what are you doing right now? He's going to try and clutch this. The only hard part of this is he needs to realize that Mark is still above him, but the good news is he's denied the plant. He can play this on time now and just let it run out. He's getting aggressive. MBK will eventually down him. It's Yuna and Mav all alone outside, but Young all alone on his roster. Is He's going to end up picking up three kills. Oh my god, what is that? Young quad kill. Who does that? Camera and see if they can stick it on the far side, but it's got to be a bit of a lockdown here. Breeday tries to go for some movement. Hungry has the lockdown. Yonko with one more. And Citizen with a backline G2. It's down to Shaiko, and he's able to get the opening too. But with the two players left on the corner, they're able to slip their way out. They've got a bit of a cross fight and a fire either side. He finds one no more. Way, Can he get the last? It's a spray through over the top. He gets, he it. gets it, Shaiko! With a 4K to match the performance of Citizen. Gave hot and cold a tiny little angle there, but not enough to be able to strike back as he was hopping out the window. Mint is all that's left here now for DZ. Nice oh, wow. response on the cry. Gotta find four more of those. That's gonna be the problem, including one as he hops out right here. Hasn't noticed the player on the right. Amazing he didn't get killed on the cross. Whoever's there for Parallax missed it, but either way, still a 1v4, still a very unwinnable situation here for Mint. It's peaks. Oh, oh no. just picking players. Oh, oh no! One. Mint, you Can cannot do this! He's got easy access to Jim now. He can plan in Jim. Mint. You get the ace, I'm going crazy. A little bit of drone work now. 30 seconds left to go. Might not seem like enough time for him, but that is all Mint needs. Go ahead and make this clutch happen. I wonder if the buddy system is going to work out for Parallax Gaming because Glamoji under Jaeger is going to have the most firepower on this defending side. But he only has a slither of HP. But turn his corner. Oh, no, he can do it. He's able to get the quad kill and the ace. Mint able to clutch it out in a 1v5. 45 seconds remaining now, but it's going to be a long angle. No, he drone hold him. What was that from Imarin? Looking for the bullet holes. Now it will get one, though, as Derpe peeks on up, but everyone's stacking by the vase, awaiting the approach for Nello. No utility left. Diffuser in hand in a 1v3 in the midst of a crossfire. Gets one on a diesel and a second one on Amaran. Nello! Are you kidding me? The 1v4! A lot of pressure on Biologic, but he's eliminated by Fultz. That's two for Fultz in this round. TSM is falling apart in their comfort zone. Where can they find success? Pojo Man gets the first kill. The gas canister not denying. The second one will have to come out, and that will be successful. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo with the only kills for his team. Achieved on low HP, Pojo Man sees a third. He gets it. Nice shot. SMG 11, such limited ammo, but he can find two more. And oh, Bojo Man's absolutely insane. He's going for the fifth, but he doesn't even need it. The time. What a clutch from Pojo Man. He's back. Nobody can rotate, so they're going to have to do this with their bare eyes. Oh my, Foxy finds an angle for the Goyo shield and stops Shiko dead in his tracks. He tries to escape, but nothing happens. BDS is just spraying wild now, throwing utility and everything of the sort. The smoke actually ends up hurting Retro very badly. He runs right back into it. They have the Yokai, though. Oh no, he's trying to plant the awkward position. Foxy's killed him. He can get back on it. Oh no, not like this! BDS is going to win off a of Yokai Cam! But Laxin's going to get a pickup as well as Slash, so all of a sudden this round, a touch winnable, especially after they lock down the smoke in the back line. It's all left up to Retro right now in a 1 versus 5. Doesn't really know where anyone is, but no one knows where he is either. Bomb now going down. He's going to get one pickup, but does he know he's inside of the smoke? He knifes, he gets one. Retro, are you actually going to win this? You <laughs> are! What? In God's... No! What was that? What? I could, would suggest, as they are going to get nearly a flawless round, they might still lose somebody, but Canadian's gonna have to be the one to change this uh, situation. Pushes into bathroom, gets one, and a second. Diffuser down. Canadian can win this round if he gets the third, and he does. A beautiful three-piece for Canadian. Doodle and Slash, the last one's alive. Canadian lit up by Doodle in the sight. Position known, and it's gonna be hard for him to win this. Nice shot there, but it's a pixel peak, and he cannot land the final kill. Slash heard above. 
He repositions, and oh! Doodle goes down! It's the quad from Canadian! Only one more for Canadian to win this outright. And he gets the diffuser. Slash Rug in the site now. He will be able to plant, but this has been called out. Canadian is well aware of this situation. Slash flakes the plant and the repositions to the hallway. To expecting Canadian to rotate. Thanks to the drone, he knows that that's not the case anymore. Canadian repositioning into workshop. There's only eight seconds left. Slash has to go for the kill now! Canadian's gonna be able to win this if he just plays it on time! And he's gonna do exactly oh! that! Canadian! An absolutely rock solid, insane clutch based on time and positioning, and he will put his team back in this map. <laughs> oh my god. Is this super in chat or comes in for the back, gets one? But he up close with the shotgun. There's no diffuser, it's not been said just yet. They put it on the other side. Brede with one. Canister right into Sexy King. His shotgun right in the face, and they're all down. Brede, what are you doing? He has noticed this though. It doesn't seem like there's a camera, and there's a nice kill for Hot and Cold. He only needs two more, and they're both still very low. He can deny the plant with the evil eye and just keep himself alive. 19 bullets, so he's got to be careful with that ammunition counter. And here's the denial! Oh my god! Seconds, and cameraman has to rush! Will he land the shot? Uh, the area that they really need to worry about is that arcade balcony. That's the main rotation area for the defense, but it's being absolutely shredded by the Sonics. Crazy finally picks one up, almost back-to-back -back flawless rounds for the Sonics. But trying to fix this situation with a very low mag capacity on this SMG-11 practically has to reload after every single kill, but he's already bagged himself too. This is the time for Crazy to show up. It's a one versus three. He does have a nitro cell to try and help himself out just a little bit, but at range, this gun doesn't work out too well. Crazy's just making it look really, really easy right now. It's down to super and iconic, both on very low HP, which is the exact words you want me to hear or you want to hear from me if you're rooting for Tempo Storm, especially with this SMG-11. That's a quad kill for Crazy. It's gonna be an ace clutch if you can find it. Again, it's up to Iconic with a flick and Crazy with the ace to lock it down. Tempo finds their very first round and that's an exclamation mark if I've ever seen one. 20 seconds left to go and BDS, they need to make a move and do something and that's exactly what Breedy does onto Hyper. Skies manages to get one, but you feel at this point like it's likely an impactless no. kill. One versus two, 10 seconds left to go. Diffuser, the diffuser is down, Des. Skies could player for time here. <gasps> no way is he pulling this back. Got the 3k. Is Shy going in one versus one? Peaks around the corner. Can't quite find it. Time's about to run out. Skies has clutch set up something special. Go down and he'll obscure that mirror. He gets a kill on the Necron. But MPK is able to get Wilkie first. Bootsy gets softened up. And it's really just Shante who's fighting in full force here. They spray into the smoke. Canadian and him spy one another. As down goes Canadian. He shoots at the corpse as Bootsy eliminates him, and now Shate oh, runs in. He's going to go for the flank here. onto the Mira, but as NBK picks up yet another kill, it's just Shate. The Capitale peeks around the corner. He outduels BC, but it's still a 1v2, and they have control of the hatch above. This is going to be difficult. The attackers left. do have the hatch, or do have the plan. It will go down. NBK patrolling above. Attack Diffuser should go down diffuser. quite easily, but now Shate, NBK drops. That's one, a huge round from Shate. He could clutch this out. It's just Young left. Will we be able to see oh! it? Shate! What a round from him! And Entz steals it away from EG. Down below, and there he goes. Mint is removed. Bosco takes out Eclipse, and it's all Hyper swinging in. He'll find oh. one. Oh, two! Hyper from inside a cocktail managed to punish the members of SSG. But now he's got an even tougher job on his shoulders. Find the remaining two, and you're going to be vulnerable trying to head in through bathroom. There he is. Oh. Lots of damage done to the Goyo. His position given away. You need the man of the hour himself. Canadian with a nitro cell in hand. 15 seconds left. Hyper's going to try to play the objective. They're going to give a call. Canadian gets running on in. Waiting for it. There goes the C4. And it misses. Oh my goodness. Hyper up on top. And now he just needs to watch the doorway. Canadian's not going to see this from down below. He sprays out. They both take so much damage. This is a nail biter. Right down to the final moments. Air jab is being missed just for now, but no, Hyper's revenge. What a massive round from Hyper. Now a three on four is going to ensue with 40 seconds left to go. This is that rush engagement we were thinking about earlier. Spark will take down Goga, but then gets finished off by himself. We are going to have two members from Penta left alive. KS falls. Penku has repelled on inside. He's down in corner office with Diffuser going up against three members from the def two members from the defending squad. And they are in quite a pinch here. We are going to have Pengu with very low health. One little bullet will do the damage that needs to get done. He's going to go for the plant as Bibu comes around. There's the remaining. C4 toss. He to oh, he tossed it too far. I don't think Bibu knew that he's that close. 
And there it is, Pengu taking out one. Can he take out the other? He knows Poseidon was inside a cubby, or at least close to there. He's moved on to the other bomb site, going for the plant. Poseidon now is going to try to rush on over here. He's going for the kill. It doesn't work out, and Pengu now knows exactly where he's at. Who's going to get the first kill? He's going for the deagle kill. Can he get it? He oh, does get the deagle kill! Pengu dropping the clutch right there as Poseidon will fall to the 50 caliber bullet going into his chest. Pengu's fucking insane. He's insane. <laughs> But it's Anthony that actually deals some killing blows, and it's all down to Yogg on the flank, but it's too little, too late. Some serious damage off the surf, but he doesn't know where this plant's going down, and not only that, he doesn't have a line for it either. Beast Coast looking like what? Exets with some of these kills that they've been able to get on the entry, but now Yogg making mince meat of Exet at the current moment. It's a one versus two, Whoa. has one in the corner, making it a one versus one, has the flank, the game sets. Oh, has a kill! Anthony, eat your heart out! It's a quad kill for the boy! Wall just continue to put pressure. In the meantime, Eclipse, he was hidden wow. right in pillars. No one spotting him. Now it's all in Bolo. Bolo definitely going to make an effort of it, if nothing else. Oh my already god! already got two. Vertical at low health as well. Bolo could clutch this. Full health. He's still got an impact lifeline left. And honestly, that might even be enough to kill Vertical oh, by itself. No. Yeah, vertical, though, if he just comes in right now. No, the timing, Vertical! Oh! Just had to come in sooner. The Bolo. ace! Bolo! Bolo. Bolo gets the ace! Beautiful no gunplay! No. Who gets Bibu? And as Spark gets pushed on, he is very wisely not getting the initial frag. Gets a triple kill! Wilkie now in a one versus one! He might have the yokai still, but it's a post plant situation, and half of the fuser has been whittled down. Spark is in a perfect spot to clutch this right now. Now he's very likely going to be hit by the yokai, which Wilkie seems to be using right now. And he has indeed been hit by that very drone. But he's choosing to move over to Blue Stairs, playing the long game, expecting the push from Wilkie, and here it comes. Wilkie checks the wrong angle, and he goes back in for the diffuser. There's no time! Spark clutches it out in a one versus four!